We're going to show you a version of the bicep and pec stretch which targets all these muscles in the forearm here. Uh, not on the palmar side of the forearm but on this part of the forearm here where so many people suffer RSI type problems. Olivia is already in the full bicep stretch position and, by the, and to get details of that look at the book Overcome Neck and Back Pain or uh, the mastery program that talks about shoulder flexibility. But basically she is lying on her chest and she rolls herself into this position. This arm here, the push-up arm we call it, is being used to apply tension to these muscles on the front of the arm here, in particular the long head of bicep tendon. And her arm, if you look at this angle here, her arm is about 45 degrees in relation to the thoracic spine. That's important because we found that unless you're in this position, you miss stretching this, this front line here where the tendon, that long head of biceps tendon, sits in the bicipital groove. Okay, so assume that she's done the contraction for biceps and she's rolled herself into her maximum bicep stretch position. And it is important to note that because the effectiveness of this exercise here depends crucially on whether or not this end of the equation is already fully wound up and under tension. So what I do is I move my foot out here like this so that my leg is on the outside of my forearm. I look at my position in relation to her and I'm just going to move directly opposite this arm. I ask her to clench her fist gently and then to flex her own wrist like this and that begins a self stretch right there and then I organize my arm so that it's directly in line with her forearm even though it's not in the plane of the floor and the reason for this will become clear I'm going to flex her wrist a little more until she says stop and she's nodding her head so that's equivalent to stop and then watch while maintaining that flexion this is the critical part because most beginners don't do this maintaining the flexion I'm then going to roll her arm away from me which for her is internal rotation of the arm in the shoulder joint and tell me when to stop Liv Right. And I'm going to pause here. She does nothing for a moment. I'm putting my other hand on her forearm like this, more for comfort than anything else. And always let the person get used to that sensation, and that will take anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute. And I can also feel in the forearm what's happening, and I can also get, or gauge, I should say, from her shoulder whether or not she's actually relaxing and if I feel that she's not relaxing or the person you're working with is not relaxing just pat them and say try to let your whole body go completely soft and I felt that she did relax then and now there are two contractions the first contraction is she's going to try to straighten her wrist off you go three two one stop the second contraction is she's going to try and roll her arm back to me, which means pressing the thumb side of her clenched fist against my thumb. So when you're ready, Liv, roll the arm back to me. Three, two, one, stop. Relax. Take a breath in and let your tummy go completely soft. And on a breath out, I very cautiously apply a tiny bit more flexion until she says stop, and that's probably enough there. I know it's imperceptible even from this camera angle here but the movement that I made changes the stretch from a whatever level it is to very intense and very quickly so don't be in a hurry to do this too quickly or and definitely don't use any force and then once the flexion is applied watch maintaining the flexion which means this direction here I'm rolling the arm away from the floor mm -hmm. stop towards this camera here and that winds up all the tendons and muscles around the forearm and then I simply wait. I wait until I feel that she can actually relax in this position and it's extremely difficult, this is a very painful stretch but nothing will affect that part of the forearm as radically as this movement. I can feel her hand just relax completely then and so after that person has relaxed you then watch them and let them breathe in and out two or three more times in the relaxed position because we believe that's where the remapping of the brain occurs and that's the third breath there and to come out of the stretch I release the rotation first the flexion second 
and then ask her to roll out of the stretch and sit up and then to see how effective, well firstly you might be able to see on this camera here how this part of the forearm has gone completely red and if the stretch has been effective when you palpate this part of the forearm here it will feel softer and it does. Mm. If you have any kind of RSI or any kind of um, tendonitis type problems in this area of the forearm, in fact the area that, that's gone red, in fact that's blood slamming into the area now after that little stretch, this is one to try. You can do it on your own, it's just not as effective on your own. Um, so if you can get someone to help you and follow this, that's to be preferred definitely. Okay, thanks very much.